What up, YouTube? This is CJ, back with episode two of the Vikla Build, and you're watching Darkness TV. So the focus of today's video, as you probably noticed from the title of the video, is the front fender. But before we get into that, I wanted to address something I misspoke about in the last episode concerning fishtails. So I think the distinction that I failed to make was that if you are running a stock motor or even a stage one motor build, which is basically just pipes, air cleaner, and possibly a tuner, you can run fishtails full time. I didn't want to discourage anybody from going out and getting these pipes. I just wanted you to know that um, they run best with a stock motor or just a stage one motor. So on to the topic of today's video. I realized that once I got my 21 inch front wheel, that the stock fender was just looking a little bit goofy and a little bit short at the bottom. So I spent a lot of time researching fenders and the one thing I realized is that I didn't want a fender that was fiberglass. I wanted an all steel fender. This led me to Clockworks. That's the first fender I purchased when I first got my 21 inch wheel. Here's a pic of the bike with the Clockworks fender. Super nice fender, heavy duty steel, came ready to paint. But once I had the fender on, I kind of realized I wanted a more traditional looking fender. This fender is really nice, but it has that wraparound feature at the bottom and it also hugs the tire. So it makes the front end look a little bit skinny. Nothing wrong with it if that's the look you're going for, but I was looking for a more boxy, traditional FLH look for my front fender. So the solution I found was I figured, why not just have my stock fender stretched? And that's when I came across Engel Brothers Fabricators. So I reached out to Engel Brothers through Instagram, got in contact with David. He is super chill. We spoke about how long I wanted the fender to be stretched. They also have the option to remove the rivets, which I totally went for as well. So simple enough, I packed the fender up, shipped it to California, and within a week of the fender arriving, David was sending me progress pics of what he was doing to the fender. Check these out. So I would say about three weeks from the time I sent the fender, I got the fender back. Uh, and the first thing I did was mock it up. So here's a look at the fender on mock up. And my first impression of it was, I think I measured the bottom a little bit too long. I had my local painter take one inch off the bottom, prep, sand, and paint. Here's a quick video of the bike rolling down the street with the new fender. So that's it YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this short video once again. Big thanks to David Engel at Engel Brothers Fabricators. He did a great job on this fender. I am super happy with it, I couldn't be happier with it. It came out pretty amazing. And also big shout out to my, paint, my local painter Francisco who took care of the bodywork and the paint. Um, when it all came together, it was well worth it. It was on the expensive side, but it, this is something that you can't buy in a store. This is not something off the shelf. And just having that on my bike, it makes it worth it for me. Thanks again YouTube. Till next time, this is CJ. Peace.